guys, welcome back to Ganty Plans. Today we are doing a March plan with me video. Um, I have got, I think everything I need here. We'll see. Um, hopefully all my stickers are in the right place. I, I am put it on my calendar. So get excited that next week is going to be the sticker binder setup video. I haven't started on it yet though. So we'll try to get there. Um, anyway, March, 2022. Um, and let me first just show you the inserts that I just printed out. I've decided to switch it up a little bit um, because I wasn't really getting the most use out of the inserts. I'm going to pull them up that I chose for February. Um, I was using this insert 62 month on one page and then the Eisenhower matrix. You notice I didn't even touch it. Um, I didn't make use of all of this space here. I haven't done this yet. I still can. It's not the end of the month yet, but for this next month, I have chosen still the dashboard. This is a freebie from my shop, so go check that out if you have not yet. Uh, this is insert 64 month on one page, um, so it's undated and it's got just like the column all the way down. It seems more utilitarian and I think it might be a better fit this time. And then this one here is page two of the undated monthly insert. I want to say number 20 because I just printed it out but only printed out this side, obviously. Um, and so this has like the tracker on it and there's some things that I would like to try to keep track of. Um, I probably want to, I want to tweak it a little bit. They're going to be like qualitative things rather than like Boolean things, things like um, how bad were SPD symptoms and um, stuff like that, like health type things. I've been trying to focus a lot on diet and health this last week because <laughs> I will be posting a video about this. Um, I think my pups is coming back. And so I'm working on trying to cure that with diet as well as topical remedies. Um, I will post a video up here about how miserable I was last pregnancy. It doesn't, it's not supposed to come back, but, uh, it may, it may be. So, um, that I'm trying to like really focus on what I'm eating because I have not been eating well. And I think that's part of the problem. So let's just go ahead. I don't use these uh, Tombow twin tones or twin, what are they called? Dual brush pens very often, but I was going to put a sticker on top of that anyway, if I can find it. It's probably in here somewhere. Nope, of course not. Um, because they're so dark, you know, and they're also very bold. Um, the mild liners I use all the time because like the chisel tip of the highlighter one is like exactly the width of most of the like header boxes that I, on the inserts I usually use um and even the brush pen it's pretty easy to get it to stay roughly that um so let's just start I'm just going to use the normal pen uh, we're going to start just by filling out this box. I'm always going to double and triple check that I get the start date correct. It's Tuesday is the first. Like this. And I'm just going to fill that out real quick. Uh, then I'm going to use... I don't want to use both of these interchangeably. I grabbed some washi tapes here. I think I will do what I've been doing lately, which is tearing, wow, almost dropped that behind my desk, tearing washi tape in half um, this way. That's good. The one I was doing this with for February was like less, uh, jagged so it didn't really show up as having been torn very much um, it didn't look particularly um, rustic so here's the idea and then I will use I think this this one for weekends. So like we said, this is a Tuesday. Oh, here we go. Weekend is five, six. Um, and 
And uh, if this was a shorter month, I'd probably put a piece of this, one of these narrow washies um, over the last day of the month, but it is not. Um, I think I'm going to use uh, this one here. I'm going to put health. That's not ideal. That's really, really janky looking. I'm going to put health and baby as my two like goals for the month. It looks so janky. Oh, well. Um, I should have, yeah, I don't know. Picked a different pen for that. This is going to be a to-do list. And then I think this is also a to-do list. It's just because there's two different inserts that I'm using in tandem. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to fill this out... I think I'm going to sit down with it and really think it through a little bit more. Um, but it's going to be tracking things like the intensity of symptoms, um, you know, on a scale of one to three, maybe with a color code, that kind of a thing. Um, as well as things I want to do every day. So like kick counts, I can do, I can put a check mark for a kick count having done it probably because I'm tracking it elsewhere in my planner. Um, but I could also, you know, put a number here of how many minutes it takes to do the kick count. Stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of these goals over here. Um, and then let's go ahead and grab my future log for actual events and tasks. So we've got not a lot right away. Um, maybe I should put like scheduled tasks on one side and non-scheduled tasks on the other. How's that? So like on the first, I have a trial to cancel. Then, uh, let's see, the second is Ash Wednesday. And then the 26th, we have an event. That's all that's on the calendar right now, but I'm checking through. I'm off camera. You can hear wrestling. That is me checking the school calendar. Um, for March, there is no school on 25th. So just, yeah, no school. That is it there. For those of you who celebrate Lent, uh, what have you decided already? Have you decided already uh, what you're doing for Lent? If you're giving something up or adding a new practice, um, I have not yet decided, but I think it might have a lot to do with fasting when it comes to this diet stuff, if that works for me. Um, so I'm looking now at my recurring tasks sections. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, I haven't done that. I might just give it up. Girls' toothbrushes, or at least Bridget's toothbrush. Uh, let's see. I'll put, I'll put it. Oh no, I was gonna put it over here. Oops. Okay. Twenty sixth. Toothbrushes. Um. Yeah, my older daughter got a new toothbrush when she went to the dentist. She wanted to use it right away. So she didn't like use up her entire old toothbrush. Uh, let's see, the 20th is razors. And then, oh wait, no, that was this last month, what? Okay, I've definitely lost track. Um, gallery photo. Yeah, I think I may have forgotten to do all of these recurring stuff for this month, and I need to go through and check on that. So I will com confirm and check that and fix it um, as it comes up. Let's see here. What else? Is there a header that I can use? Oh, I'll just put a to-do header. This will do. So that I can use the dark pen again on this side. I think I will maybe just sort of highlight that just to make it look good. I don't know. 
These are all from Mad Hatter. I didn't mention this one's also from Mad Hatter Stickers Co. With a new order coming in this week because I'm out of days of the week. All right, so that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more this washi down here. And I could probably extend it all the way across because chances are good I will have given up on my tracker by then. I haven't done a monthly habit tracker in, I want to say, over a year. Um, because they, I always fall off the wagon, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, at least these are goals that I can't sort of ignore. Um, the question is whether I'll remember to flip to the front. But maybe having the tracker here will make me flip to the front more. We'll see. And then this here, I put a level 10 life in the back just because I haven't done one in the in a while, sort of an inventory of goals and stuff. Um, so I think I, there's definitely some room for just like brainstorming on areas of improvement and stuff. I'm not going to try to focus on like big, difficult goals and habits right now because, um, yeah, I, I, the second right here is when my maternity leave starts. So you're like April 2nd. So this is like my last month of work. So I'm really just going to be treading water and trying to stay feeling as good as possible um, before we head home. And then there's, you know, so there's going to be like baby prep stuff. Um, I have some car seat stuff to figure out and all of that. But if I am feeling up to it and have a little bit of spare time, I can try to fill out this level 10 life inventory. Um, and just, you know, that's there in case I need to use it because the other option was just to leave it blank. So I figured may as well have something there as nothing at all. Um, so that is the setup for March 2022. Um, if it wasn't clear, I picked purple because it's Lent. Um, and yeah, enough said there. And then, uh, yeah, I guess that's really it. Like I said, I'm going to work on this sticker journal next week. Um, currently, this is where my stickers live. And that's going to change. Um, and setting myself a deadline of getting that video out is hopefully going to get us there. Everything's going to be so much more organized and easy to use. So if you have a sticker organization method like or paradigm that you use, like let me know any tips and tricks you have for setting that up um, in the comments below, because I will definitely take that into advisement as I work on that. Um, and then next week I should have something to show you. Hopefully it'll be done, but who knows. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and like and all of that. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see what my weeklies look like and other things. I try to post other stuff there at least a few times a week. Um, so I will see you in the next video on Thursday.